Hey everybody, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel for another B6 plan with me, which is basically like just doing the base because this is my personal planner. Um, so I'm using this Lunar New Year kit from Sticker Guru and then I'm also pulling in a couple of scripts, which you guys saw at the very beginning. I'm super excited to use this kit. Um, I was a little bummed to see whenever I was like planning out kits with Tom that Lunar New Year or Chinese New Year uh, fell on the same week as Valentine's Day. So I was excited that I ended up getting this kit in a smaller format because that means that I could use it in my B6 planner. And then I'm going to use the uh, bigger version in my planner next year because Chinese New Year is on, is I think it's on like, it's on the beginning. Let's see. I did this in my haul video too because I was trying to figure out when I could use it. Yeah, so Chinese New Year is going to be on the first for next year, so I'll be able to use it. I'm like super excited because this artwork is so, so beautiful and I'm just like so in love with it. So if you guys do celebrate, Happy New Year. I hope that, um, you are able to celebrate in the safest and best way possible and that this year goes really well for you. So yeah, I was going to answer some of the, like, I think the remaining of my questions were all like kind of tattoo related. And so I have a couple minutes. I know this video is super short because I did not put like any plans in because I kind of jinxed myself last year or not last year, <laughs> last week by putting in, um, like my, pre-planning for working at Amazon and then I didn't get any Amazon shifts this week so yeah I'm not gonna do that again I'm like a little nervous that I'm gonna jinx myself so here's to hoping that I can get some shifts this week but let's go ahead and do some questions so someone asked if Tom is into tattoos and piercings as well um so he definitely is into tattoos and he has a couple tattoos right now, and he definitely has plans to get more. Um, so I'm, like, super excited whenever he gets home. Um, I definitely, we're going to do some tattoo dates, you know, like, so we can hold each other's hands. It's going to be real cute. Um, so, yeah, he's definitely into them, um, which is awesome. I support, you know, that, <laughs> obviously, because I have a lot of tattoos, and I support him because I love him. So there's that. Um, someone said they're afraid to get their first tattoo. Um, if you have any advice. So this is kind of like part of my job is making people feel comfortable in the shop. And we do get a lot of people who haven't gotten any tattoos before. So I definitely, I think, um, this is something that I've kind of, it's a mindset that I have worked into my own experience. I don't know how to phrase that, but if it's something that you really want, you know, if it has special meaning to you, or even if it doesn't and you just really want to get it, um, the pain is going to be so temporary compared to how long you're going to have this on your body. It's going to be so worth it. And I know that, you know, some of them are going to be pretty challenging depending on, you know, the kind of spot that you get them in. But at the end of the day, you're going to have a beautiful piece of artwork on your body for the rest of your life that's just going to be amazing and it's going to be so worth it. So I think going into it with that mindset is really good. I'd also suggest, you know, speaking with your artist beforehand, maybe letting them know that this is your first tattoo. Always let your artist like in on what's going on. So if you're feeling really nervous, that way they kind of know like to be aware that you might ask to stop and you can always like take breaks and stuff too. Like you don't have to go like straight through it. Just make sure that you communicate with your artist. So, like, if you need a break, like, let them know. And, yeah, maybe um, I, I would recommend to not get a tattoo in a super painful spot for your first one. Um, however, like, if, you, if there's a tattoo that you really want to get and you really want to get it in a certain spot, then, like, do that, you know. Like I said, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be over quicker than you think and it's going to be beautiful in the end. So like my first tattoos that I got were on my wrists, which is a pretty easy spot for me, but also pain is different for everybody. So what's easy for me might be hard for you and vice versa. So I don't know. That's kind of the advice that I can give. Um, someone also asked what, um, where is the most painful place to get a t tattoo? Um, so my friend Hannah of Planet Hannah, she's actually gotten some 
way more painful tattoos. And I know she did a tattoo video recently, so you guys should definitely go check that out. Um, I would say that my most painful tattoo that I've gotten was my cover-up piece that's on my hip and like a little bit on my stomach. Um, it was painful because it was a cover-up and the tattoo that I had underneath it was pretty scarred, um, which makes it like more painful when you're doing like a like tattoo over a scar. And then um, it's also just like the hip area, like on my hip bone, it's a pretty sensitive area. And then I also got a ton of color on it, so those three things together made it a very lovely, very lovely time. Um, <laughs> but that's the most painful tattoo that I've gotten, but I mean, anything that's like directly on bone, I've heard that kneecaps, behind the knee, the inner part of your like upper arm is kind of bad, sternum, um, you know, hand tattoos, there's a lot of different spots, but... I, you know, as I said previously, like, it all depends on the person, too. So, that is going to be everything for this video. I know this was, like, super, super fast. I debated on, like, not slowing it down, but I didn't know if I could fill all the space. So, again, Happy New Year's to those who are celebrating. I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.